worry about the circumstances. Welcome, Prime Minister. We are extremely grateful for your visit to Israel because you've come, you've come to visit Israel in our darkest hour, but we will overcome and prevail and it will be our finest hour. I'm basing myself on a quote from Winston Churchill because I'm reminded every day now about what my late father, Chaim Herzog, told me about the, the days of the Blitz in London. He was there as a student in Cambridge, the interest of all the nations of Europe. Thank you for the warm welcome. It is a privilege to be here at this difficult time for you and for your people, but I wanted to be here. And first and foremost, I wanted to express my solidarity with you and your country after you have suffered something unspeakable, a barbaric act of terrorism. And to your last point, we should call it what it is an act of terrorism perpetrated by an evil terrorist organization, Hamas. That's what I believe, mm -hmm. and that's what we will continue to say. And in that vein, we will stand with Israel. We will stand with you in solidarity with your people and your right to defend yourself, to bring security back to your country, to your people, to ensure the safe return of the hostages that have been taken. And I know we will talk further about mm -hmm. that later on, um, because that's the right thing to do. You have not just a right to do that, I think you have a, a duty to do that, to restore that security to your country. But I'm also grateful to you for the support that the Israeli government has provided to the families of British nationals who have been caught up in this tragedy. Uh, I very much appreciate that, and I know we will continue to cooperate closely and support your efforts to ensure the safe return of all the hostages that Hamas have so cruelly taken. And I'm glad that you and I have had a chance to discuss the need for humanitarian access. Uh, Palestinians are victims of what Hamas has done. And it's important that we continue to provide humanitarian access. I welcome the announcement yesterday. We in the UK have announced further aid that we're prepared to bring into the region and we're keen to see that that gets to those who need it um, to enable, as you say, when people have been asked to leave to protect civilian life, which is the right thing to do, where we can support them, we want to do that. And I very much welcome the progress that we've made on that, and I know we will continue to make it. So again, thank you for having me here at this important time. The relationship between our two countries has always been strong, <coughs> but I want you to know at this particular moment, you don't just have our friendship, you have our solidarity, and we'll be with you. This is, um